Hello, my name is Jack and I'd like to welcome you to the wonderful world of video weblogging. Or to shorten it, video blogging. Or to shorten it again, vlogging. Yes, that's the technical term for it. My vlogs tend to deal about random subjects in life, in the way I tend to deal with my life. Sat on my arse in front of my laptop. This particular vlog is on the subject of swearing in today's society, and why I personally believe it should no longer be considered a taboo. Of course, this is just the opinion of a 17-year-old boy with too much spare time on his hands, but to be honest, what other opinions are there on the internet? So, I'll start with clarifying what I see as swearing. Now, I'm not going to read a list of immature and childish words like todger or turd or todger turd or whatever just for cheap laughs. I'll get straight down to it. The kind of swearing I think should be accepted into society is the verbal bad swearing. I don't personally see any harm in swearing and I don't think it should offend us anymore. Of course being sworn at or insulted by these swear words will obviously offend, but could any other words be used instead? You couldn't really express your current feelings towards that person by calling them a blasted rogue or flipping idiot, could you? You'd just be laughed at. Sometimes you just gotta come out with it and say, You mother- <laughs> Face again, bitch. You know what I mean? So I'm guessing that is really my first point. That these words carry with them such emotion and meaning that surely they are some of the most powerful words around. And powerful words aren't usually considered a taboo, are they? Is there rooms in the Oxford Library that are sealed off because of the sheer power of their words? No. So why should words that are so stress relieving be considered forbidden or looked down on. Also, I think that these words carry a huge social stigma with them that is not going to dissolve unless we let it. The more we get caught up with not allowing swearing, the more swearing becomes forbidden. Hey, you, guess what? What? <laughs> I can see swearing becoming like the need of a piss in the annual board meeting that is society. It builds and builds and you really refuse to let it win until eventually it explodes. And there you go, absolute chaos. By the way, that was a simile. I use a lot of similes and if you didn't like that one, I suggest you don't watch any more of my videos or even get in a debate with me. I don't know why I said that, just some of you might be at home watching and suddenly go Oh Christ, it's a simile! Oh. My final point is a very simple one. Actually, it can be summed up in a quote. If you can't beat them, join them. I look around society these days, and it's everywhere. It comes from all directions, like a gang rape. Look over there. It's for drunkards outside the pub, swearing. Look over there, it's for single mums in Subway, swearing. Look over there, it's for youth of the day outside the primary school, swearing. Look at me, <coughs> swearing. It's everywhere and it's quite clearly here to stay. So why not just let it into our society? Like our lumpet, it's here to stay. Not that that policy will work on all things. Mm. So there we go, I've said my views. Feel free to tell me your thoughts on the matter. What do you think of swearing? Leave a comment on the video if you're watching it via YouTube. If you've watched this on Facebook, leave me a message. Or try emailing me at the address that is on screen right now. Yeah, scrolling. Well, I'm Jack. That's all from me. Until next time, fuck off. If you've watched this on Facebook, leave me a message. Or even try email email I look around society these days and it's everywhere. It comes from all directions like a gang rape. <laughs> oh.